welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually heading out to Liverpool and I'm going to see a matinee of Heathers. So I saw Heathers last year I think on its last tour and absolutely loved it so I'm really looking forward to seeing it again. Um, obviously I'll do what I usually do, I'll show you any merch, show you around the theatre because it's on at the Liverpool Empire and um, obviously review it when I get home. So yeah I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. The tram station. So I'm just at the tram station, I think it's 20 to 10, yeah 20 to 10. My tram is due in 6 minutes so I've got too long to wait. So it's now quarter past ten, I've just arrived at the train station. The train's not due for another 40 minutes yet, so I'm going to go to the platform and just wait there. So as usual, I'm on platform 14. Never go anywhere, I'm always on platform 14, which is the furthest platform away. It's right at the end, so we're going to go and head there. Like I said, I've still got like 40 minutes till the train, Well, I'll just sit there and Listen to some music till it's time to go. We don't need nobody's attention. Yeah, we just wanna dance on our own. We came to party all night long. So I'm now on the train. I should get to the port for about 12. So I'll get back to you now once I am in the port. Time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd. You're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that. What glitters sink gold? I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it. I wanna be. 
So I've just arrived in Liverpool now. I'm just in, I think it's northwestern of Weatherspoons that is in the uh, train station. I'm just going to get some lunch. Um, I just ordered on the app. I'm getting a chicken burger and some garlic bread because it needs to last me all day. So obviously I'm not getting home until about midnight tonight. So I need to have a bigger lunch. So we'll see how long it takes for that to come. Uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to charge my phone up because it's already charge already so yeah I'll get that to you once the food comes <laughs> so my food has arrived I got garlic bread with cheese and a buttermilk chicken burger with chips so this is a lot of food but like I said it's got to keep me going till midnight tonight so there we go okay so I've just finished my lunch now in the rubber spoons in the train station but I thought I'd just show you how to get to the theatre from here. Literally, that building just out there is the theatre. If I got a magnet for this, you know, I should have checked. Mm. Got a feeling I haven't. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just in the face now. I'm just going to check out the merch. So that was a fail. Can't get programs at the bar, so only at the merch stand. That's probably why there's a massive queue. So I got back in the queue for the merch because they didn't have programs on the bars or the ushers, so back in the queue. Okay, so I've finally been to the merch store. That took forever. I'm in the theatre now. Just gonna find my seat. It looks busier than I thought. Might not be able to move, but I find my seat. I need the toilet first, actually. I'm just going to head to the toilet. I'm on row M. Cannot remember what number. I'm on the side here. Yeah. But I'm going to go to the toilet first.
Okay, so I'm on row M um, number four. Okay, so this is my view from my seat. So I'm on row M um, seat five. This is my view. Okay, so I've moved seats. I've just moved to the end of row M, so M11, because I see there's loads of empty seats. But I think the view is quite good from here, so I'm going to stay here. Hi, so it is now the interval and I'm absolutely loving it. I always love Heather's, but it's really good. The castanets are excellent. I'm just really enjoying it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna head back to my seat now and I'll get back to you, probably when I get home now. I've got another show after this, so I'll get back to you when I get home. station so glad I didn't book the half nine train because I wouldn't have made it in time I booked the 10 o'clock one so I've got half an hour till it's due sometimes it does come early because this is its starting station so 
sometimes you can get on it early. We'll see. It's on platform five, so I'm gonna go in. See. Might get myself a drink actually because I'm really thirsty. I'll get back to you after on the train. So I'm just waiting for my train to arrive. This one's just leaving now. And then mine should be coming in. In a minute, mine's a northern train, so I'll we'll wait for it to come. So I'm back at Piccadilly train station. It is three minutes past 11 and I need to get to the tram stop to catch the last tram. I think the last tram's like half 11, so it should be fine. I'm not sure how often they run at this time. So I need to get there and see how long I'm gonna have to wait. Made it just in time. It's just coming now. I was very lucky. thought I'd just give you a quick review on Heathers. So I went to see Heathers at the Liverpool Empire. Um, I went to the matinee performance which started at half two. The show was two hours and 30 minutes long with a 20 minute interval. So there was lots of merch for this show and the merch queue was absolutely massive. I think the reason why it was so long because they weren't selling programmes at any of the bars on, and none of the ushers had any programmes. Usually when I go to an ATG theatre they'll be selling the programmes at all the bars and also the ushers will be selling them at the doors as well uh, which makes the queue uh, much smaller because a lot of people only want programmes. Um, so the, the queue was absolutely massive um, but I managed to get a programme and I also got a magnet. I think the magnet was £7. I did take a picture. I think you've probably seen um, the merch. I did film it all. I think I filmed the price list as well. So I think it was £7 but it had they had a hoodie but it was a cropped hoodie. I think if it hadn't been cropped I might have considered buying one although they did only have size small less and that was never going to fit me but I would never buy a cropped hoodie and um, so they had a cropped hoodie they had joggers I think they had socks uh, they obviously had the scrunchies um, the yellow green and red scrunchies there was a makeup bag I think there was a notebook or a diary um, there was a magnet a key ring I think there was a pin badge so yeah, there was lots of merch at Heather's. So this is the magnet that I picked up. It just says drill much with the lips and the Heather's logo at the bottom. Uh, it's not my favorite magnet. I would have much preferred the uh, like the cover of the program on the magnet. I think that would have been better, uh, but beggars can't be choosers and that's all they had. So that's the one I had to get. Uh, I also picked up the program. I think this is £5.50. Uh, like I usually say, the ATG programmes are all the pretty thin paper. They're nowhere near as good as the Lowry's. The Lowry's are really good programmes. Um, uh, but like I said, they are better than they used to be. They have been worse than this. Uh, but yeah, this is the programme. I'll go through that later. So if you don't know anything about Heathers, it is based on the 1989 movie of the same name called Heathers. Um, 
and it is about a girl called Veronica Sawyer who's at high school and to get through high school she becomes friend with, friends with the Heathers who are like the mean girls of the school and uh, whose leader is Heather Chandler. Uh, one day Veronica meets JD, Jason Dean, who she falls for and after a fallout with Heather, JD and Veronica go to her house to try and grovel and get back into her good books. JD, while said jokes about killing Heather um, and it puts something in her drink uh, which Veronica refuses to give to her. However, Veronica accidentally picks up the wrong cup and gives this one to Heather and she ends up dying. After this, JD seems to get a uh, first for murder. So he sat on some other victims from the school. So Kirk and Ram, who are uh, on the football team, they end up making Veronica cry um, and JD decides that they are his next victims. He tricks Veronica by telling her that um, they're going to shoot them with special bullets that will just put them to sleep. However, he's lying and they use real bullets and end up murdering Kurt and Ram. Veronica is good at forging people's handwriting, so they make a suicide note um, for Kirk and Ram saying that they had to kill themselves uh, to hide their gay forbidden love. Um, this results in the song Dead Gay Son, which is quite a popular song in the musical. JD then sets his sight on his next victim, but by this time Veronica has had enough um, and doesn't want to have anything to do with him. Then JD decides that he wants to blow up the whole school and Veronica has to stop him. So that's basically the story. I'm not going to go into massive detail. I think most people will know the story of Heather's. I've probably not explained it the best, but that's my basic overview of Heather's. I know some people don't like Heather's because they think it glorifies suicide and um, things like that, but I don't think it does. And I, I do enjoy Heather's. It has some great songs in Heather's. I absolutely love every song on the Heather's soundtrack. I listen to it all the time. My favourite is definitely um, I Say No. Absolute favourite song. Love that one. Although I have to say, in this show, Connor McFarlane that played uh, Ram's dad sang that song with so much passion. I'd never seen it sung that way before and he just, he was so good and it made me really enjoy that song and it's never been one of my favourites before but he sang it so well it was so powerful everyone was cheering at the end of it he was he was really really good but yeah i i really enjoyed his performance of that song so the set for heathers was pretty much the same as it's been on the was on the last tour um it hasn't really changed and i do love the set of heathers i think it works really well um with the, they have the two levels. I think it works really well. Um, also, I love the lighting. I like the fact that when the heathers are on, they shine the different colored lights onto each heather. I love the way they do that. I think that work is really, really good. So I thought the cast in this were, actually, were really strong. I loved everyone's performance. I can't really pick out a stand-up performer. I just thought they were all really good. I thought Jenna Innes, who played Veronica, had a lovely voice, and I really enjoyed her performance of Veronica. So yeah, I thought I would now quickly show you the program. Okay, so this is your program. So it's got the big Heathers logo on the front. That's the three Heathers on the front. And then here it says Liverpool Empire Theatre. And so it's got the ATG logo. So inside it tells you about the Liverpool Empire and some shows that are coming up. You then have all your adverts for the upcoming shows. And then you have your Heather's pages. So this page tells you all the musical numbers. So in Act 1 you've got Beautiful, Candy Store, Fight For Me, Freeze Your Brain, Big Fun, Dead Girl Walking, The Mean Side Of Me, You're Welcome, 
Never shut up again. All love is and all love is God. In Act Two, you've got my dead gay son. Seventeen, shine a light. Lifeboat, shine a light. Replies, I say no. Hey yo, Westerberg. Kindergarten boyfriend. Yo girl, meant to be yours. Dead girl walking. Reprise, and seventeen reprise. And then you have your cast biographies. So, plain Veronica Sawyer, you've got Jenna Inns. She has been the cover Eponine and Fontaine in Les Mis. Playing Jason Dean, or JD, was Jacob Fowler. So, Jacob played Prince Topher in uh, Roger and Hamstein's Cinderella at the Hope Mill Theatre, which I did see, and I don't recognise him, but apparently he, he was in that. He's also played Bobby in Dreamboats and Petticoats. Verity Thompson played Heather Chandler. So she's been in Cinderella at the Wacom Swan. She's been in Stephen Sondheim's Old Friends. And she's also been in Magic at the Musicals at the Royal Albert Hall. Playing Heather Duke was Elise Zavu. And she has been the swing in the fantastic, in the fantastic great women that changed the world. Playing Heather McNamara is Billy Bowman. She's been in But I'm a Cheerleader. She's also been in Heather's at the Other Palace as well. Martha Dunstock is played by Kingsley Morton. Uh, Kingsley played Wednesday in the tour of the Adams Family, and I did see her in that tour, and she was really good. Kate Payne played Miss Fleming and Veronica's mum. She's played the Killer Queen in We Will Rock You. Uh, she's played Wendy in Peter Pan. And yeah, she's done quite a lot of stuff. Alex Woodward played Kurt Kelly. He's previously been in Mamma Mia and Hairspray. Then we had Morgan Jackson playing Ram Sweeney. He was first cover Pepper in Mamma Mia. He's also been in The Wedding Singer and Fame. Then we had Connor McFarlane as Ram's dad slash Big Bud Dean and Coach Ripper. He's recently been in the Once UK Tour. And he's been in the UK premiere of Queen of the Mist. Then we have um, Jay Bryce, who played Kurt's dad, Veronica's dad, Principal Gowan, and is the resident director. So he's been in Titanic the Musical, been in Carousel, and he's also been in Motown the Musical. Marcus Sodergren, sorry if it's pronounced wrong, he played... Preppy Stud and the Officer. And we had Tom Dick Dickerson who played Geek. Then we had Liam Dean who played Hipster Dork and the Officer. We had Summer Priest who played Young Republic Young Republicanette. Mae Byron played Stoner Chick. Eliza Bowden played New Wave Party Girl. Eleanor Walsh played Drama Club Drama Queen and Lizzie Emery played Midwestern Surfer Punk. Then you have your information page, so you've got your cast list here. Understudies, Creative Team and the Heather's Band. got more information on your creatives and then you've just got some more adverts and I think that is that is it for your program so there's not a lot in there there's no articles or anything it is basically just the cast list and that is all that is in that program I don't think they had any brochures because I was going to buy a brochure for this because it's one of my favourite musicals but they didn't have any, it was only these programmes. So I was a bit disappointed that all that's in this is just the cast list. Anyway, that is your programme. 
so I absolutely love Heathers. For me, Heathers is a five star show. Uh, I like the story, love all the songs, and the, all, everyone in this was excellent. The cast were just really, really good. So I can't give it any less than a five stars. I just really loved the show and I had an absolutely amazing time. And I'm hoping maybe to catch this show again when it comes to Manchester because it's such a good show. So I hope you've enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you do enjoy theatre vlogs, I do have quite a few coming up on my channel. I am going to London this month for my birthday and we have five shows booked. So if you're interested in seeing theatre vlogs for those, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as those go up. So Heathers is on at the Liverpool Empire until Saturday the 8th of July. I will leave links down below to where you can buy tickets. I'll also leave a link down below to the official Heathers website in case you want to learn some more about the, sh about the show and to see where else the show will be touring to. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.